on Wednesday, the 14th of February, 2024, the skeletal remain of a body suspected to be that of Miss Stephanie Williams, O.C. Maddock, 29 years old, was found in a district known as Dancehall Female Recording Artist, Medic, body found in a cane piece, Georgia. This is a sad, sad news for the mother that is already not doing well. But viewers and subscribers, Dancehall Recording Artist, Medic, body found in a cane piece, Upper Saint Kitchen. We have that to come up, people. Bless up to my viewers and my subscribers. Them. Me hope everybody having a blessed and a wonderful evening. Now, my viewers and my subscribers, remember, in everything you do, always put God first. In every or uh, any situation, just always remember to call upon God. Always remember to pray. Because a prayer day, keep the devil away. Now, my viewers and my subscribers, Today is a very sad day for the families of Medic Dancehall recording female artist Medic. You know she missing since last year and now them find her body. We also are gonna speak about Vibes Cartel case. Also, we're gonna speak about Mark Golden message that Andrew Wallace should not be able to run for election again because of his corrupted ways. You understand me I say? Now people, before we do that, I would appreciate if you all would leave a like on this video. Please give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're a new viewer's first time on my channel, then please subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification bell. So whenever we drop new content, you will be first to be notified. Share the content and leave your opinion down below in the comment section. People, we are going to run the intro and come back. We soon forward. So welcome back to my viewers and my subscribers. Them. Big up to all of my viewers, big up to all of my subscribers. Them. We continually support the channel and help the channel to grow. Now viewers and subscribers, remember to leave a like on this video. Remember, give it a thumbs up. Also remember, if you are new viewers first time on my channel, then please subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification bell. So whenever we drop new content, you will be first to be notified. Now, people, make we jump straight into the report. Now, we're going to start off with the medic story. Police find skeleton remain believed to be those of missing entertainer medic. Nationwide news understand that the police have found skeleton remain believed to be those of missing entertainer medic. Medic whose given name is Stephanie Williams was reported missing on Thursday, August 24, 2023. The skeleton remains were found in a cane field in St. Kachin on Ash Wednesday, February 14. Kansas Spring Police reported that Medic left her home Mayfair Red Hills Road in St. Andrew and was not seen since. Now my viewers and my subscribers, this is a very, very sad, sad time for the family and friends of Medic. You understand me? I say, you know, it's never easy to last a loved one. And the mother got you a lot from them time until now. You know, she always a protest. She always come out and she cry just like how Miss Sophia Log would and come out and cry for Danali the same way. You understand? Can I say that she's a mother that love her daughter. But I am going to play a voice clip from her. Deputy Commissioner of Police in Charge of Crime, Fitz Bailey. So, check it out. On Wednesday the 14th of February 2024, the skeletal remain of a body suspected to be that of Miss Stephanie Williams, O.C. Maddock, 29 years old, was found in a district known as Wallin in the parish of St. Catherine in Acane Field. Miss Williams went missing on or about Thursday the 24th of August 2023 and has not been seen since. A missing person report was made to the Constant Spring Police by the mother of Miss Williams. As a result of the report, the police commenced investigation into a missing person and possible murder. Several lines of inquiries were made and several persons interviewed and statement recorded. It is also to be noted that several case conferences 
were held and significant support was given by the criminal investigation CIB headquarters in Kingston. The body will be processed and compared with DNA sample to determine the true identity. The investigation continues in the matter. I'm appealing to anyone who may have information that can provide assistance to the police to call us at 119-311 and the nearest police station. Now my viewers and my subscribers, stay to thought and that I just want to say my condolences goes out to the family and friends of medic. You understand me I say now see the thought and that down below in the comment section the people and as usual remember to leave a like on this video. Now Mark Golden sending a message and him said Andrew Wallace should be disqualified from a seeking office. Opposition leader Mark Golden says Prime Minister Andrew Wallace should be disqualified from contesting the next general election given that he has failed to have his statutory declaration cleared by the Integrity Commission. We have a system with the Integrity Commission at the center of it for trying to bring probity and accountability and transparency into our governance system. All indicators and polls show that the people of Jamaica have a lack, a lack of trust and confidence in their political leaders. And so for the head of government of Jamaica to be in a position where his staff's verifiedings cannot be certified by the Integrity Commission, that ought to be a disqualifying factor. He should withdraw himself from any future service uh, in that capacity as Prime Minister. Going forward, cannot remain in this untenable situation. Speaking at a PNP press conference on Thursday, the opposition leader say the Prime Minister is heading into, the, into a third filing period with the Commission without his declaration being certified. In contrast, Mr. Golden says his filing have been certified by the Integrity Commission. I'm very concerned on a broader level at the way in which this government has been conducting Parliament. They have done much to reduce the checks and balances that a democracy requires Parliament to play in relation to executive power. For example, we have seen their attempts to defer the tabling of critical reports from the Integrity Commission and the Auditor General. And this continues to be an issue on which there is significant uncertainty. The legal opinion on which the Speaker has relied from the Attorney General's chambers as to her ruling has not been disclosed to parliamentarians, even though she received it in her capacity as a Speaker of Parliament. And it impacts all parliamentarians, they, and they ought to have access to it. No, Minorang Mark Golden, I think... Andrew Wallace should re resign. I think he should resign because I think that man is so corrupted that corruption mark all about over him face. First of all, he still cannot give us the name of the six criminals that are eating taxpayers' money. He still hide them. You understand me? I say, why you cannot let us know who are the six criminals we are eating taxpayers' money? We deserve to know. We, the public, deserve to know, but you are protecting them. You are protecting them. You still cannot declare your asset. And it will come up to a third filing, and you still can't declare it. I am standing with Mark Golden firm on that one, because there must be a reason why you cannot declare your asset. And there must be a reason why you cannot expose the six criminals that are in parliament eating taxpayers money there must be a reason why you can't get account of the 100 million us dollar there must be a reason why you cannot get account of the 650 million dollar same way there must be a reason why you can't get account for nothing at all so i think you should step aside i think you should resign i think you should give someone else that is fear, that is honest, a child now. Step down, move forward, so the country can move forward in a better position than being corrupted. Speaking about corrupted, look at the corruption where these people can go, go England. Hmm? Paula Lulowin in our Paula Waiwanim make Jamaican look like a piece of Paper with that tree and nobody know what I want it. People, who don't know what you court case, who don't know see the corruption.
corruption. We go on in a vibes cartel case. Who knows? say each and every piece of evidence that these people have were corrupted. I be a fake evidence these people have. The only thing that they are leaning on for a verdict in their favor was the witness. And the judge them beat them bad. The judge them beat them bad. All of my try to make it look like say, it is okay to use a corrupted or a poisonous jury. The judge make them know say, it is not okay. Everyone deserve a fair trial. Why would you go ahead with a jury that is um, corrupted? The man corrupted from the start of the case. Over one month, them have the man in the thing and them know say, him poisonous. Him, him did a bribe the four, the, the, the four, the four man jury. If he, if he even did have bribed the four man jury, because I don't believe nothing that they said. Why you don't have no evidence of what happened? First, I say, um, she recorded it on her phone and uh, she went to New York. And when she went to New York, what happened? She left the phone in her store and uh, them, them, them stole the phone. Then, when I go to England now, at the Privy Council, go tell the judge, say, the phone that the thing record pan, where them record the man a bribe them because remember in a days by days by days by days the man a bribe them you know? so you must have you have a clean record of something because the man keep on a come to you and a try to bribe you for return and not guilty verdict so how comes you don't even have not even one proof of that then you they go tell England you go tell the judge them say the, the recording wasn't clear, so only never bother to use it in a court. Only never bother to use the recording because it never clear. Only never a case. And right now, everything just work out in a vibes cartel favor. Because the witness where them have, the witness not credible. Them have a fake witness. His statement couldn't work. So they couldn't use that against vibes cartel. Them breach him constitutional right by using his phone. Went to Digicel, go pick up phone record behind his back without a warrant, nothing at all. The police were go. He wasn't even part of the case. He was not even the leader of the case. Or he was not even a part of the case. But yet still, yet still, he was the one that went there with ignorance in him and Go pick up phone evidence at Digicel. Another thing that is boxing around the corner and, and boxing everyone in their face is that it was some personal feelings carrying because Vibes Cartel allegedly did a touch Shelly and Karan. So the husband now allegedly a carry feelings and that away everything I come from allegedly my people but i just want to say to isaac buchanan you are a true fighter and you are a real 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 liar you are a real brother and you make jamaican proud you make jamaican proud and you make paula look like an idiot in a court she have to sit down and hold up her mouth like her false teeth. Them a drop out. I saw me see she, she sit down. People, only know what she, only know what she video people, only know what she quote. Me say the woman sit down and hook up her jawbone. When me say hook up her jawbone, I mean hook up her jawbone with her hand. Like say all of her false teeth them a drop out her head because of the level of corruption that they use. In the Vibes Cartel murder trial. Everyone deserve a fair trial. And uh, me know say no found out come and say. He guilty in this in that. Well if him guilty. How come they don't have no evidence. Not, not all. The house where them say. Lizard. Um, get that show in. 
the government send go push down the house, bulldoze down the house, dig up them without even collecting any forensic evidence. Look at Danali Danielson case. When them say she get dashed away in a novel house, what does she happen? Don't just see teams after teams after teams of forensic go down there and go collect sample of bloods and all of them something there. Because no matter what you do, the blood stain cannot leave. Them have some light with them shine and it pick up every single thing. But there was none inside that house. And before the case even done, they pushed down the house. Because they don't want an independent forensic team to come to Jamaica and go run forensic at the, at that house. So people, but it's a try to show you the level of corruption in the Jamaican justice system. The Jamaican justice system only send way who them want to send way go to prison and keep who them feel like are them friend and them don't feel like them to send way that one day. We all know say Vibes Cartel gets sent way because of his lyrics, of his image, and because of his status. And that should never happen. Look at the man in the X6 or the X5 or whatsoever him did a drive. We alleged to come out time vehicle and fire shot pan the taxi and kill the little youth when they come from school. And on top of that, no, no, on top of that, feel the Andover is a lice of firearm. And what them do? Them set him free and charge him again for feel for hand over him lice of firearm. And them tell him, say, they might give him one year of prison or him pay a million dollar. Looking you know, at them, have all of the evidence for them want, you know. But yet still, them find him not guilty. And them have evidence, they have witnessed everything. Because a broad daylight thing come out in vehicle. Bam, 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 bam. Hide the, hide the vehicle until they find the vehicle. Where him did a drive and something. Some of us are trying to show the people say, a pure corruption. A just pure corruption in a Jamaican justice system. And this look very bad for the Jamaican justice system. Now, they are going to set Vibes Cartel free because there is no way at all they can keep him behind bars with all of them fake evidence, fake voice note, fake text messages. Everything fake, people. Every single thing about the case, fake. But people, stay the thought down below in the comment section. And as usual, people, remember to leave a like on this video. The question is, do you, do you believe Vibes Cartel will walk free in the next two to three months from now? Let me know down below in the comment section. Alright, I'm out.